To develop an accurate mental model of the auto throttle, you must know how the auto throttle modes engage and behave. In this video, we'll introduce the auto throttle modes you'll interact with most often, show you how to engage and disengage the auto throttle, and how to determine the current auto throttle mode. To maintain mode awareness, you must know where to look. The auto throttle modes we're going to discuss will be displayed in the auto throttle mode enunciator, located above the ITT gauges in the EIS pane. The status of the auto throttle is shown in the middle of the AFCS status box. The color philosophy for auto throttle modes is the same as the AFCS modes, green for active, white for armed, and yellow for abnormal modes or disconnects. To engage the auto throttle, press the AT key on the mode controller. This will arm the auto throttle on the ground or engage it if airborne. Pressing the AT key in air will engage the auto throttle in a mode that corresponds with the current vertical flight director mode. In addition, the auto throttle is continuously monitoring system status and will automatically engage if it detects a torque or ITT exceedance, an underspeed or overspeed condition, or an activation of emergency descent mode. Disconnecting the auto throttle is similar to disconnecting the autopilot. A single aural auto throttle is heard, and AT will flash amber for 5 seconds in the AFCS status box and auto throttle mode enunciator. The primary way to disconnect the auto throttle is by pressing either one of the AT disconnect switches on the power levers. A secondary way is to press the AT key on the mode controller. While not recommended, the auto throttle will disconnect if you overpower the servos. This is treated as an abnormal disconnect, and the auto throttle disconnect aural tone will repeat until acknowledged by pressing the auto throttle disconnect switches. Best practice is to press the auto throttle disconnect switches on the throttles prior to taking control. The auto throttle modes are heavily dependent on two things the vertical flight director mode and the speed source switch. To help organize the modes, we'll use the table shown here to guide our discussion. We'll begin with AT takeoff. Selecting the AT key on the mode controller prior to takeoff arms AT takeoff. AT takeoff can only be armed on the ground and is the only mode available on the ground. As you roll onto the runway and advance the power levers for takeoff, AT takeoff will transition from armed to active when engine torque on both engines advances beyond 1,000 foot-pounds. The auto throttle will set takeoff torque within torque and ITT limits. AT takeoff will remain active until a new vertical flight director mode is selected. It will automatically transition to AT climb five minutes after takeoff if no vertical flight director mode is selected. If the go around button is pressed in air while the auto throttle is engaged, it will transition to AT takeoff and push the power levers forward to takeoff torque. Note that for the go-around and missed approach segment of published instrument approach procedures, the speed selector switch must be set to manual. Under normal auto throttle operations, this will have already been done during the approach to landing phase of flight when the pilot wants to slow the aircraft. If the switch is set to FMS, it will follow the speeds on the flight plan FMS en route page, which may be faster than you want to be on downwind or final. FLC is the selected vertical mode the auto throttle will transition to AT climb or AT descent based on whether the altitude preselector is above or below your current altitude. In either mode, you can use the speed source switch to determine whether to manually control the climb or descent speed or follow the FMS climb or descent speed schedule. A climb will transition the auto throttle to AT climb. It will command max power based on altitude, temperature, and ITT limits. It can also vary the amount of power used based on the difference between present altitude and target altitude to provide smoother and more comfortable altitude changes. A descent using FLC will transition the auto throttle to AT descent. It will set the power levers for a descent rate of approximately 1500 to 2500 feet per minute. The vertical mode for cruise is altitude hold or ALT. If the speed source switch is in FMS, the auto throttle will transition to AT normal cruise or AT max cruise, depending on what is selected in the flight plan FMS and route page. Torque values will be commanded based on the aircraft flight manual normal and max cruise charts at 1800 RPM 
for the given altitude and temperature. If the speed source switch is in manual, the auto throttle will transition to or maintain AT speed. In addition to altitude hold, there are multiple vertical modes that pair with AT speed. AT speed sets the power levers to maintain either the selected manual speed reference or the FMS airspeed, depending on speed source switch position. Let's start with vertical speed. When vertical speed is active, you can either manually select the speed to target or follow the FMS speed target in the climb or descent schedule. For vertical path or VNAV and approach mode, the auto throttle will transition to AT speed and target either the FMS speed schedule or the manually set speed. If the flight director is off or not active, AT speed will be the default mode and set power to target whichever speed source the pilot has selected. For glide path and glide slope, the auto throttle mode will be AT speed and the speed selector will be set to manual to control the speed on final. In pitch, AT speed will maintain the selected speed, either FMS or manual. Level will only be activated by ESP to return the aircraft to the normal flight envelope. If the auto throttle is active, it will transition to or maintain AT speed. If the auto throttle is not active, it will not automatically engage. The last mode we'll discuss is AT idle, which allows the auto throttle to remain engaged all the way through the landing rollout. When coming in for landing, the auto throttle will transition from AT speed to AT idle and move the power levers to the idle stop. The transition will occur at about 45 feet AGL if the landing gear handle is in the down position. The aircraft is descending, the throttles are below the cruise torque limit, the radio altimeter is valid, and AT takeoff is not the active mode. About 2 to 5 seconds after touchdown, the auto throttle will disconnect with no alerting indications. If the system does not detect the airplane is on the ground within 20 seconds, the auto throttle will disconnect and alert the pilot. This concludes video 4 of the King Air B200 auto throttle series. You should now be able to state how to engage and disengage the auto throttle and name the auto throttle modes that pair with each vertical flight director mode. Anticipating the correct auto throttle mode during transitions between vertical flight director modes is a sure sign of your accurate mental model.